In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to download and install MindTest, mods, texture packs, and subgames. I'll be showing all this on a Windows system in this video. If you're using Linux, and more specifically Ubuntu or a derivative, please check out the Linux version of this lesson. MindTest is available for Windows XP and newer, GNU Linux, most distributions, Mac OS, Android 4.0 or later, FreeBSD, and source code is available, so if you have a different system, you can compile your own build. To download MindTest, select the appropriate link under the Windows heading. Warning! Be sure you download MindTest only for MindTest.net. There are rogue versions of MindTest being distributed that include ads, force you to pay for privs, or even log all chat messages on servers and send them to somebody. The only guaranteed clean versions of MindTest will be found on MindTest.net. Once the file is downloaded, extract it. MindTest runs in place, meaning there is no installation, and wherever you place the files is where it will run from. You won't get any shortcuts for MindTest, so let's go ahead and create those right away. You'll find the executable file in the bin folder. Right-click on the executable and select the Create Shortcut option from the menu, and drag it onto the desktop. Do this again and drag the shortcut over the Start menu, and then drop it someplace. Of course, you can skip either or both of these steps if you want, but it'll make launching MindTest much easier, as you won't have to navigate to whatever folder you extracted the files into. Mods, games, and texture packs can all be downloaded from the forms. I'll pick some totally random ones, but you should browse around and try some out for yourself. For the game, I'll be downloading and installing Survival, which is an incomplete game I started. We'll just download the zip folder for now. You'll find it here, at the bottom of the first post. Usually, on any topic, the downloads will be in the first post. Once the file is downloaded, extract it into the Games folder in your MindTest folder. You don't need to rename the folder, as the engine reads the game's name from a configuration file. The process is much the same for downloading and installing mods. I'll be downloading my drinks mod. We'll download the zip file again as we did for the game, and extract that into the mods folder in our MyTest directory. Some mods may require you to rename the folder. This particular mod doesn't because it has a configuration file with the mod's name. But if you ever get an error about a mod failing to load because of disallowed characters, there is a good chance the folder needs to be renamed. The mod's topic will always have the proper name for the mod in the last set of brackets. Installing texture packs isn't that different. Again, we'll look on the forms and select something, this time summer fields. Download and extract it to the textures folder. We don't ever need to rename texture packs, but you can if you'd like. Now that we have one of each of these resources, let's look at how to use them in the game. Launch my test and click on the local game tab. It's the default, so it's probably already selected. On the bottom, you'll see a row of icons. Hovering over them, you'll see their name. Click on Survive, and you'll notice that the background changes. You've now selected that game, and can create a new world by clicking the New button. Type in a name. If you want, you can type something in the seed box, or leave it blank and MyTest will randomly pick a seed. Clicking the box behind a map gen will open a drop-down menu where you can pick a different map gen. You might want to play around with the different options a little bit to see what types of different worlds are available. To finish, click the Create button on the bottom left. Clicking on Play Game will start the new world, but let's enable our mod first. Click the Configure button. You'll see a list of available mods. You won't see nearly as many as are listed here. There should just be the one you downloaded. There are two ways to enable a mod. Either double click on its name, or click on the name once and then click the little box in front of the word Enabled up top. The mod's name will turn green, letting you know that you have successfully enabled the mod. Click Save to go back to the previous screen. Before we start the world, let's change our texture pack. Click on the Texture Packs tab on the top menu and select the texture pack you downloaded. You might see a screenshot and a sort description appear on the left, but not all texture packs include this. There is no Save button here. Just click the texture pack you want and then click back to the local game tab and click on Play Game. Your world will start up. Controls are fairly basic. W, A, S, D to move around. I to open inventory. Space bar to jump and shift to sneak. Left click to punch and break items, and right click to place items and open inventories on nodes. The escape key pulls up the menu and lets you quit the world or game entirely. You should now have a decent understanding of how to install MindTest, mods, games, texture packs, and how to enable all of these resources. You are on your way to becoming a MindTest master. All that remains is learning to write mods, which we'll do in the next chapter.